Alright guys, it's Dodgy from Big Mac's Workshop and Paint Studio. Today we're going to be painting a Plague Bearer because you can't have a month of Nurgle without at least doing a Plague Bearer. Started off with a Vallejo Black Primer as usual and I've gone straight over with a Cayman Green by Model Colour. It may take a couple of coats because it's a dark colour. Once you've built that up I've gone, gone ahead and we're going to go to a Panzer Grey and Cayman Green mix. So we're going to put in the shadows try and get in the waist area and then we're going to go for a Strachan Green by GW in all those highlighted spots shoulders, head, don't forget is like behind unfortunately we have to paint a Nurgle's arse <laughs> but I really like painting these uh, flesh tones in different colours I prefer to do these com you know, in comparison to armour a lot more fun. Then we're going to use a sand yellow by Model Air and yes it looks like a complete contrast to the colour but if you water it down properly and apply it in thin layers it makes a really good highlight for green because you don't end up with illuminous greens you end up with something that looks like the lights hitting the green and reflecting the light back. Again we're just going for those top spots the shoulders, the head, the stomach area, anything that stick out then we're doing a mix of Ethonian Camo Shade and a drop of Agraxa Shade. You want to water this down with some medium, like Lamiate Medium as usual, and apply that generously all over. Don't let it pull up in all the flat surfaces because that just ruin the genetic, I mean, gen yeah, uh, genetic look we're looking for. Yeah, I forgot how to speak for a moment. And um, then we're going to go to a Tusca Fur by GW and do all the inside flesh bits. This can take a couple of coats which you want to keep it thin and not lose any of the detail in there because this particular plague bearer has got a, a mouth in its stomach. We're definitely going to be bringing out all those details in there because it's one of its main features. And if you were reading the paint list at the front. I have no idea why we've decided to call this Plague Bearer Colin. It's Andy, doing Andy's thing. So now we have a Plague Bearer called Colin. I may even start referring to him as Colin through this video. Why not? We're having a bit of trouble getting the camera focusing and one of our um, viewers said that if we turn off autofocus and leave the camera still we should be able to get a bit better image so we started doing that later on if any of you guys have got tips out there to help us make better videos just leave us a comment and then we can make better videos for you the next colour after that is German yellow as a highlight I think you've seen me do this before on the plague drone video you really want to water this down because it's quite a strong colour water it down, pull it towards the edges of anything pink and we're going to do all the gums and all the sores. Once we've done with that we're going to a Reclam Flesh Shade by GW and we're going to wash the entire thing. Be sure not to go over any of the edges, you know where your green is because it'll stand out a lot. And again I apologise for the focus but in a bit we managed to um, fix the settings on the camera and start getting much better images. So I can't remember who it was who suggested to turn off the autofocus, but uh, we've gone ahead and done that, and thanks for that hint. Now we're going to use the Sand Yellow by Model Air, water that down a lot, and re-go over those highlights, because if you remember we've done a wash, and that's toned it all down. And took away those very high points where you want the finest of details and the finest highlights. Otherwise you're going to end up with a very flat colour, I've seen people do it before, you'll play, paint a plague bearer and you'll just throw a wash on it and that'll be that. And if you want your army to look like that, that's fine, I mean, <coughs> everyone does painting to a different standard obviously. But if you really want your model to look good, you've got to take your time and build it up in layers. And yep, now I'm still using the sand yellow, but I, th I figured if, I, if I'm going to have to paint his butt, you're going to have to watch me paint his butt. Again, pulling the colour from the shaded area to the area I want the light colour. If 
you followed the other videos and you've been painting anything using these techniques, you should be getting used to that now. Start in the, late, in the darkest area, pull the colour to the lightest area and that's where the pigment will start to build up and pull and it gives a very nice transition. And this is what we've got so far. See all those highlights pay off, really bringing out all the details, all the layers. Doesn't look so flat anymore. And now we're going to use Rackarth Flesh by GW and just go over all those warts. Don't put a dot on top of the warts. You can, you can start by doing that. But go ahead and go around the wart as well. You want a nice smooth look around the edges of the bottom of the wart. Otherwise it's just going to look like you've put a blob of paint on there and you don't want that kind of look. It's worth putting in that extra bit of time because you thank yourself when you've finished it. Right, now we've done all that, we're going to go ahead and use a juicy violet to put a wash on those. Water this down as always because you can build it up in layers a little bit at a time. Like I've said, there's, um, said before, there's lots of warts on these models, you probably miss a few. It's the same if you're doing blood angels and you're trying to do those blood drops, you always miss at least one. Once you've, once you've done this, you can easily re-highlight the top edges of these warts with the back half flesh again. This video was a bit of a rush this week, as we've had a lot on. We're going to go ahead and put some of the juicy violet in those gums as well to darken them down a bit more. Make them look a bit more sore and organic. And as you notice on this video, a lot's changed. I've gone ahead and I've used a Steel Legion drab on the teeth and on the claws. And also we've put a base on there, which uh, Andy quickly knocked up for us out of the collection of bases that we cast. This is one of the new ones. There's a whole set based on the place called now Stalingrad. So we've got the entire range of those coming out soon. Andy threw one together. Take your time doing these teeth, you know, because they're really small, tiny bits of paint. And obviously you've got the bigger teeth in the middle, which is one of the main features of this. I also went ahead and painted the sword black, because we're going to put a, a gunmetal, gunmetal grey from Model Air on there now. And I know what you're thinking, oh it looks really bright. Well that's because we're going to put Model Mate's rust effect on it in a minute and you won't even see any of the silver but it gives a lighter colour. If you painted the model mates on black, it would be too dark. But if you have not tried model mates stuff before, you should definitely get hold of some. This stuff's brilliant for doing rust. There's absolutely no effort whatsoever to apply. Put it on like a thick paint. And within five minutes, it will fluff up and look like rust. You can't pick it all, we can't pick it all up on the camera, but there's so much detail in there and it's textured. It's a very rusty sword, which you'd assume that Plague Bearers would have. We're then going to use Zandri Dust to highlight those teeth again. See all the colours around that mouth and all those washes add together, giving a very organic mouth look. It looks quite vicious. I like the way that's coming along. Then we're going to use an Ishabti bone on the very points of the teeth. Starting from furthest away, again to the very tips, making the tips the brightest part and the most pronounced. Also doing the claws. I went ahead and did the eye with Baylo Brown and put a Agraxer shade wash over it to give it some more depth. 
I didn't want to have to do that on camera because it's a real pain trying to do eyes on camera. Highlighting all the teeth, claws and all those other features that we were doing that base colour. Didn't think there was enough, enough depth to the features on the mouth yet so I went ahead and did an Agrax Earth shade. Blend all those colours together. Make the transitions on them a lot smoother and a lot more organic. I went and did the same thing with the horn on his head as I did with everything else. Same way I did the teeth. Just layering it in, blending it in softly. You don't want a hard transition with something this organic. And it's starting to come together pretty well. We're then just going to finish it off with a very watered down Shabti Bone by GW on those highlights again. Only on the sharpest of edges. By that point, pretty much finished. We have one plague bearer, aka Colin. So if you like these um, videos, um, hit like. If you want to see more of our videos, hit subscribe because we bring out one every single week. And share with your friends. And if you've got any tips or any questions, just leave a comment. We try and get back to everybody uh, as best we can. And that's the finished product, one Colin. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.